All right, guys, I am here next to my nectarine tree. I want to show you how I fertilize all my fruit trees. Um, and we're going to do that right now. All right, guys. Now, as far as fertilizers, I would always, always use organic fertilizers. Uh, and the reason for that is this stuff is made from natural organic materials, whether it's manure, bone meal, blood meal, feathers, uh, rock phosphate, whatever it is, um, it's made out of natural materials. Um, like here, I got uh, these wood chips here breaking down. This stuff is all composted and this stuff is being composted by the bacteria in the soil and all the bugs and all the microbiology. All that bugs and microbiology, all the bacteria break all this stuff down and they feed the root systems, whether it's in your garden vegetables or your fruit trees, whatever it is, uh, that's how things work. The, the bacteria feed the uh, root systems. So if you start putting synthetic fertilizers in your uh, trees, your vegetables, uh, yes, it'll feed the plant, it'll take in the synthetic uh, nutrients, go into the fruits or your vegetables, and into their DNA and you eat it goes into your body into your DNA and that's not a very good thought actually I that's not something I want so I would rather have something that's natural that happens naturally in nature okay uh, to feed my fruits and vegetables so the MPK ratio on most of your uh, tree fertilizers are going to be fairly low because most of your organic fertilizers are low your MPK this one here is a 355 and that's really enough now I am going to be adding some uh, blood meal this is totally optional you don't have to do this if you're against using animal products don't use it okay um, there's other ways of putting nitrogen because bo uh, blood meal is very high. In fact, it's one of the highest uh, uh, in nitrogen as far as uh, organic um, fertilizers. It is a 12%, this one here. Um, <clears throat> again, use only organic. Now, the blood meal is strictly for nitrogen. Now, on a young tree, it's okay to put nitrogen in. That's why I'm using it. Uh, it gets the green, the foliage going, it gets all the leaves growing nice and green. Now your phosphorus, that stimulates the fruit growth, uh, seed growth, uh, blossoms, and all that, uh, and your roots, root systems, and helps those to grow. Uh, and your potassium is just your overall vigor of the tree uh, and to get it going and, and growing properly. Um, so let me show you how I do this. All right, the first thing we want to do is pull away any mulch you have around the base of the tree. Pull that away pretty good. And even if you expose some of the roots of the tree, that's fine. That's, that's actually pretty good. You want to get down to about that level when you start seeing a lot of these uh, stringy roots pull up, coming up like that. That's about where you want to get to. Now also, what you're going to have to consider is how big your tree is. This is a small tree. The branches only go out to here, so your root system is basically going to go out to here also, depending um, on the size of your tree. And that's where we want to put the fertilizer, because that's where the root system is. Alright guys, for a small tree like this, uh, up to about three inches or so in diameter. Uh, you want to use about a cup of the fertilizer, the tree fertilizer, the 355 that I had earlier. And put that all around where the root system is. 
All right, next here I have a cup of the blood meal. And that is the nitrogen. That's gonna get this tree nice and green. And we wanna sprinkle that also in the, around the base here. All right. And then we wanna just mix that in a little bit. Now what we want to do is push back what we uncovered. Push all that back. And now we want to give it a good watering. And the water will really get that uh, the microbiology going there in the soil, composting, breaking all that fertilizers down, and all that stuff. Now, very importantly, you should always fertilize in the spring, early spring, when the when the trees start budding because they need nutrition. They're starting, they're waking up from dormancy. They're waking up and they, and they want to pull all that nutrition out of the soil and get grown. So in the spring, as soon as these things start to bud or even just before, uh, fertilize and in the summer sometime. Now, some people f fertilize in the fall, but you really shouldn't do that because in the fall, a lot of these trees or a lot of, almost all your trees slow down or go dormant. They don't need all this NPK, all this high nitrogen and phosphorus and potassium in there because they're going to sleep, okay? Uh, probably the best thing you can do is for the fall, put a bunch of mulch around the tree that'll protect the roots um, and keep them a little warmer that way. Uh, that way the tree's got a better chance of uh, surviving the winter, put it that way. Fertilize in the spring, uh, sometime uh, in the middle of summer maybe July-ish sometime. And uh, in the fall, make sure you got enough mulch around your root system, keep everything nice and insulated, and uh, it'll uh, give it a boost that way as far as warmth for the root system uh, for the winter. All right, guys, it's as easy as that. Uh, again, again, with organic fertilizers, you can't overdo it, okay? I don't care if you put a little or a lot, you're not gonna kill the plant. It's only gonna release you know, whatever the NPK ratio is on there uh, to the soil. Whereas synthetic, uh, it, you, the more you add, the more you're going to build up and the more it'll kill the tree. Alright, so that is it for this. Uh, I'm going to finish up the rest of the 48 trees I think I have <laughs> and, uh, and get these things growing. Alright guys, so Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And again, when you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and that will alert you to my next video. And thank you again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.